Kopi was laying there and I picked her up and bleeding badly on her back end and belly. Um, we brought her in, wrapped her up in a towel and took her to uh, the vet hospital over on Birch there and uh, she passed away within a few minutes once we got there. It was right here in this Glenmore family's backyard where a coyote attacked and killed their small dog. Kopi is a rescue dog. We got her from a, a kennel over in Kamloops, actually. Um, we've had her about two years, a little over two years. Um, but she's been a great family dog companion for our daughter. Our 13-year-old daughter uh, has autism, high-functioning autism, so she, she loved it. Uh, Monday night, about 9.15 or so, we put our dog out, just like every single night. Heard a huge commotion in the backyard. It was pitch dark, of course, with our lights on. I looked out the window and saw that there was a struggle going on with some kind of dog. Um, I opened the door and yelled at it. Uh, it dropped our dog, Kopi, um, pretty much right away um, and took off. I could tell then that it was a big coyote. Well, we did call conservation after it happened and, and they informed us that uh, there's not a lot that they, they can or, or would do as far as setting up traps. They can't do that just because with the, with the field there and the neighborhood, people are walking dogs back there all the time, so they can't, they can't set a trap and catch it. Yeah, we need, we'll get another dog. It'll be another small dog, but uh, it's, it's something that, that, that we need as a family. So The family said that by sharing their story, they hope that it prevents other deaths to animals by coyotes. For CastNet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Kelowna. Communicate with other CastNet readers in our forum section, which can be found in the Opinions button in our yellow masthead.